Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be cooking some bell pepper steak homemade and I'm going to be cooking it the crystal inky way. Okay, so yeah, with further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me, do it look good or not? Did it make you guys hungry? Oh, just look at y'all. I promise this smelled so good and it tasted so, 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 so good. So, yeah, I can't wait to get into the video. So you guys right here I have my beef steak and I also have my onions and stuff like that. With my beef steak I cut it this, I cut it like this as slim as I could and stuff like that. And for my bell peppers, um, what I'm going to be putting the inside of it is going to be, I have some carrots, some onions orange bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and red bell pepper. And I already cooked my rice because I don't like to eat hot rice, so I cook my rice first. So I'm just letting it steam over there, just keep it warm. I have my skillet on seven preheating, and I'm going to be putting um, virgin, virgin olive oil inside of my skillet. And now I'm going to be getting my seasonings ready. This will be the seasonings that I will be putting inside of my meat. And it's the diced tomatoes. I'm going to be putting soy sauce in there. This not the season, but this one I'm going to be putting in there. I'm going to be putting parsley flakes. Tony season. onion powder I'm going to be putting minced garlic in there just a spoon per ground black pepper salt So now I'm going to be putting in my olive oil just a little bit and then I'm going to add my carrots and my bell peppers and I'm going to let those cook until they get soft. So now I'm going to start cooking my beef steak and I'm going to put in some veggie oil and then I'm going to start mixing in my meat and I'm going to be seasoning it.
So I'm eventually going to add my bell peppers and my steak in the same skillet. The reason why I cooked them in different skillets is because I wanted my meats to start turning a little brown and I wanted to make sure that my bell peppers was cooked um, soft so that they can have an even cook and we won't be chewing on no crunchy bell peppers and no raw meat. So that's why I cooked them in two different skillets but I will eventually add them in the same skillet. Y'all, I am so fat. Y'all gonna see me picking in this uh, skillet a couple of times, taking some meat out of there and tasting it and seasoning it because that's how I know um, that my food is seasoned to my likings. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm one of those. Now I'm just adding in my diced tomatoes. And now I'm going to be adding in my soy sauce. I know that it's going to look like I'm getting a little bit too carried away with the soy sauce, but I'm feeding about five people. I believe five. No, I think it's more than five. And I really love the taste of soy sauce, so I'm not getting too carried away. And it tasted just perfect. Like, I wish that y'all could have tasted it. <music>
gonna be adding in my beef broth. I want to say that I used probably a half of this. By the time I got done cooking the meal, it was like a half of cart left. And now I'm going to be adding in my cornstarch. I'm going to put like a half of cup of cornstarch and the other half of water. And I'm going to be stirring it, mixing it until it get like in milk texture. It's not going to be too thick and it's not going to be too thin. And I'm going to add that into my bell pepper steak. Now that I have pulled in my cornstarch and water, I'm just going to be stirring it. And if I feel that it get a little too thick, like thicker than I like it, I'm going to add more beef broth. go bell pepper steak made the crystal inky way <laughs> Look how that rice look. It's not sticky, it's not slimy, it's not hard, it's just right. That's how you know you know how to cook when you know how to cook some perfect rice. And now I'm just going to plate it up. I'm not over exaggerating or nothing. That was so good. The meat was tender. It wasn't hard or nothing. But thanks guys for watching this video. I thank y'all for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to go subscribe to my other channel, Dramatic Crystal. The little picture at the end of this video. Just click on it and it'll take you right there. I love you guys. Kisses. Mwah.
scream my name. Yeah.